Yo, what's up, YouTube? We're back with another no money spent video. You guys have been killing it and wanting more of it, and we're finally back. I apologize, it took me a couple of days. I'm a terrible person, but we got a lot of stuff here. First, we did some stuff off, off video, but on stream. Again, if you're not following our Twitch streams, you definitely should. Twitch.tv uh, slash Daddy Demon TV. That stuff's in the description below right there. Click that link, hit the follow button. We played some BR and we actually got a diamond from it. Uh, I, again, I don't necessarily recommend BR as your, as your stubs getting sourced, especially if you're not as good at the game. Uh, if you, Vince is probably a way safer way to do it as you do lose stubs, but I played through a run. Here are some highlights. All right, so this was some BR highlights from our run here that netted us a diamond. Now, you can see that I get really, really excited right here. Then I notice I match up with a content creator. I was currently eight and one, at the point of this BR run. And so I had already taken a loss. So I either had to win and get the diamond or lose. And my whole run was over as that would have been my second loss. Now, we were completely and utterly locked in, as you can see from some of these highlights here. We were crushing the baseball, destroying it left and right. And the way that I've been trying to get better in online gameplay is to really shrink my strike zone. I've been looking for more pitches to be right where I want it or mistake pitches and only swing at those. And just because it is a strike, I'm not swinging. And so I did that in this gameplay and I was really able to take advantage of mistakes. I drew walks, I crushed the baseball. It was kind of just a, a smorgasbord of success here. And so as we keep pouring runs on here, I wanted to make sure I had enough because I'm pretty terrible at pitching. Now, I know BR is not the smartest way to do this. If you're no money spent, it does cost you stubs to get in. There are really sweaty games. And again, I would recommend doing events before jumping into BR, but obviously I was doing it for content and it worked out. It doesn't always work this way though. So we end up collecting the win here, getting a diamond, and that diamond is going to be Cattell Marte, the one that we've already pulled. So that's, we're gonna totally sell him and net stubs. Then we move into another game that I'm gonna show highlights of where I think this is the absolute greatest comeback and one of my favorite BR games ever. As you can see, with two outs and a runner on, we have a seven to two deficit. Two outs in the third, we have one out to play with and the comeback was real. Again, I shrunk my strike zone. I started looking for only pitches that I wanted and they had to be down the middle mistake pitches. I didn't, I was gonna take as many strikes as I had to until I had to protect. I wasn't jumping out early and in front of stuff. And we end up putting up a fantastic run here. And we just keep climbing back, just keep base hit one bat at a time. And we end up taking the lead here and making this an eight to seven ball game, which is crazy. Again, this was on our Twitch stream. So if you're not, if you're not following Twitch, you definitely need to. We have a really good time here and it was an insane comeback. And then we're gonna end up getting a delicious, savory ground ball double play to get us out of this game and get that win. Now, this one wasn't our 12 win. We were, I believe, 11 and one after this game. The next game here, you're gonna see it ends quite quickly. We match up with a top 30 player and he destroys us. So we don't get the 12th win, but we do get the one diamond and that's okay. But so what happened is, is we got Cattell Marte out of that run and I sold him because I already, I already have one, to be honest with you. I already have Cattell Marte. He's already sitting here looking pretty. So what I did is I sold the extra one I got and I will show you what my buy orders look like. I went ahead and bought a ton of stuff here. These are just a couple pages. Uh, what I did is I put a lot of buy orders in trying to get XP to grind the XP reward path and keep that going. Uh, also starting to d dive into collections, which we're gonna take a look at here in a little bit. Uh, I sold, I sold Cattell Marte for 31, 1448 stubs and then since then i have been buying a lot of stuff just trying to put buy orders in that's the way i recommend doing it 
but we've started to take a crack at good old collections. Now, collection is a great way to start locking some stuff in, get some XP and get some stubs back. You're not gonna get a ton of stubs. And the main thing that you're looking for is the XP and the XP reward path. So I have a lot of these right here. The, I, I'm already locking these commons in for the team collections. So this doesn't even matter to me in the slightest. I'm gonna collect all these and I'm gonna knock these out of the park so that I don't have to worry about this again outfielders it automatically when you auto select does the 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 lowest level or lowest overalls so we're just going to get these completely out for the starter program here unlockables who cares just get it out of there yep lock that in there get me some of that xp bat skins i don't think this is the one i don't think i can do yeah i can't do bat skins yet uh parks yep lock them in why not and then equipment i've got a couple equipments here lock that in 100 stubs 500 xp and then the first collection easy that's done and so the only thing i have left here is the bat skins now you see i actually leveled up if you look up there over there i'm now level 60 in the xp reward pass so we have that going for us uh the baskin one i'm not going to worry about right now because some of the other baskins are kind of pricey but we are going to come over to live series collections now if you do all of the live series collections you'll be able to get mickey mantle okay there's a lot of really good rewards each team has their own reward and then each division has its own reward and then collecting each league has its own reward and then if you collect it all mickey mantle so i'm trying to figure out how to get mickey mantle on no money spent and we're going to start chipping away at it getting xp and getting stubs now the cheapest ones like the orioles extremely cheap i have all the cards here i believe i do and i'm gonna go ahead and lock them in this is an incredibly cheap set and so even if like you don't have a first base and maybe didn't want to do the showdowns this mark trumbo you get boom right there actually not that bad nice little power bat there but we're gonna add him and we've already completed uh completed one out of 30. now you don't have to have the complete set to get some xp and some stubs back so like for instance on the blue jays i've got eight if i were to end up i'm gonna just quickly do this for the video here I would recommend putting a buy order and not doing what I'm doing right now, but just for the video, you just buy some of these real quick, real quick, real cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you get 10, boom. You get that first tier right there of 200 stubs and 2000 XP. And so you're already starting to knock these complete uh, these collections out. It's just gonna take a little bit of grinding and a little bit of time. The Royals, I also have 10 of. I'm gonna go ahead and lock those in here and get some more XP. You can see that we're almost completing level 61 already. On the Yankees, we've got nothing I care about, uh, nothing I'm gonna sell, so I'm gonna lock those in, get that XP as well. Tampa Bay, I believe I have I have nine, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually just buy Sam McWilliams here for 70 stubs, who cares? Boom, boom, boom. Lock him in, and there we go. We get another 200 stubs and 2,000 XP. We're very close to completing uh, 61 here. Uh, let's see, the Marlins I think I'm super close on. I'm at 33 of 40. I think I have some buy orders in on them. So we're gonna, I'm, like some of these more expensive ones, I've got buy orders in. I'm not trying to spend 342 stubs for Ryan Stanek. I'm trying to get him for 265 or something like that. So you put the buy order in, try to save yourself some stubs. You, this isn't a race. You don't have to do it as quick as possible. The Mariners, I'm at 39 out of 40. The last card that I don't have is Hirano Yoshi. Oh God, I'm gonna fuck that name up. Yoshihisha. And uh, cause I don't wanna wait and cause I'm doing the video, we're just gonna go ahead and buy him straight out right. And we're gonna lock the complete set in there. Boom, we get Robinson Cano and he's done. Let's go. That one's done right there. Get some XP. We're now more than halfway through level 62. And so this stuff really does add up and just piles in there for, especially for the XP, because I mean, your goal is to get the silver one or, or even bronze 80 and we can add that Kluber. Pirates were at 32 out of 40, which I mean, we could knock it out right now, but we're going to be fiscally responsible on it. You also see in the top, our stub count is going up uh, quite a bit, I believe. I feel like we had 28 or 27 or something like that when we started this. And we're just sitting here climbing, locking stuff in. That's really not expensive. We're not going to get anything out of anyway. Climbing the XP reward path and, and all that good stuff. The Nationals were 22 out of 40. I'd like to get the Nationals done really, really bad. That's why I am gonna lock in Juan Soto and Trey Turner. You could sell them, you could flip them, it doesn't matter, but I wanna unlock this Vladimir Guerrero Jr. right here. Oh, Senator Tyler here. Uh, that's not Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's Vladimir Guerrero Sr., you dumb fat bitch. Back to the video. Diamond, I mean, some of these rewards are really good. This card looks very nice, especially for no money spent. The Tigers, we're gonna go ahead and lock 10 in. Boop, right there, get that done. The Rangers we have 10 of, so we're gonna go ahead and get them as well. 
and then we're going to do i believe the braves i've got enough yep braves right there we got 10 so we're working towards that ryan klesko there the astros we're gonna lock in here get that xp as well we're now level 64 so we're just gonna keep climbing here just keep locking stuff in obviously if there's something really expensive you don't want to lock in like let's say you pack trout and you don't have anything else i understand why you don't want to lock that in but that's not our case for this right now. I'm not going to do the Mets because I do have Pete Alonso, and I think I'm going to sell him, but I'm not 100% sure. The Cubs, we're actually going to go ahead and lock all the way into 20 on those. So we're climbing up there, getting that done. Uh, and, and so we're climbing on this and completing quite a few of these and climbing towards getting a more experience, but just starting to at least begin the collections as this is going to be a long process here now the way that i would probably recommend you do it if you're not me and you're not just going to quickly do it for content here is let's say that you're like all right i have some stubs here like maybe you pulled something expensive you got a garrett cole is going for 100k or whatever out of a conquest pack whatever if you have the stubs you can start looking at this a little bit differently than just trying to start everything at the same time you could go i want the nl west collection i want tony gwynn on the team how do i do that you can start taking a look at specific collections specific divisions to complete those to go ahead and complete a whole division to get more reward quicker it's up to you it doesn't really matter also do not forget the free agency pool right here i have 75 of these and free agents card like these cards do not matter in the slightest they're not expensive they're a ton of commons some bronzes i think there might be a couple silvers there is this kaino who cares 100 percent lock him in boom we are at we got 700 stubs for that and 5,000 xp and we're now level 65 so again climbing the xp reward path and really getting close to the good stuff you know we want that clue at level 80 that's who we're really pushing for and we're making a nice little divot to try to get there also something you're going to notice is if you come if you complete some of these collections these will actually help you with your team affinity so we did the mariners for instance and if you come over here we got 10 points into our team affinity for completing the mariners and so we got a seattle mariners pack and we're now 10 out of 70 we're starting to climb towards this good old kyle seager here same thing here for the orioles you're going to notice we click on them but we've got 13 out of 70 on this collection here because we got the 10 points for doing the orioles collection so that means we have a bunch of packs here and we're starting to kind of work on that and it re i mean we netted stubs we sure i sold that Cattell Marte, but i mean we we started this video with i had already sold him and bought some stuff I just gained, I think, 10,000 stubs this video by doing this. So we're still sitting at a healthy number of stubs. We could probably theoretically finish more. I could probably try to get really close to finishing the Cubs. I think Javi Baez is really the only one that's expensive that I need still. And then it's a lot of cheaper ones. And I think I can get him for like 22K. So if I manage it right, I probably could end up being fine. But because of all this, we now have a bunch of packs here that we can open here. So for the 300 star pack, I'm going to end up taking our good old friend Roy Oswald here. We need pitching on this team, and Roy Oswald is the move, I think. First base, we're fine. We've got Josh Bell and then even Pete Alonzo. Duke Snyder, my outfield's fine. I'm not really interested. Roy Oswald's going to fill a need that we need. So we're going to take Roy Oswald here and add him to our rotation. I mean, now look, boom, it's all golden up. We also get a legends one of seven pack from the xp reward path here and we can add another pitcher to kind of make our team ready for ranked seasons here we could add a reliever here with this mariano rivera i don't know if i'm gonna do that i feel like he might get hit too easy especially in the lower difficulties so i don't know if i'm gonna take him right now you can't really go wrong with any of these picks here uh i think what i want is i'd like to take maddox i've heard he's pretty filthy and with five pitches, that gives me quite a bit to play with here. So I'm going to take good old Greg Maddox. Call me a Braves homer, whatever. You don't have to keep that card either. You could sell him if you really wanted to. It's all up to you on how you want to play. Uh, we are going to open the Orioles pack. These are all no sell, and that's totally fine. But what we can use is we can use these players to exchange them for, for others in different uh, different affinities. Same thing for the, uh, for the Mariners pack. Boom, boom, boom. You get two silvers. We got mad dupes here. Holy shit. Two Kyle Seegers. All right, whatever. We get a gold unlockable pack here, which gives us a bunch of bullshit that I don't care about. But, you know, what? whatever. Silver player pack, which it's not going to be a diamond. Oh, it's a fucking gold, though. Okay. These silver packs are juicy. We get Lucas Giolito of the White Sox. That'll actually help us with our White Sox collection there, as that's one of the more expensive cards. So I'll gladly take that right there. We got five show packs to open here. This could also help with some of the filler we need for the other collections there's a lot of commons and stuff i still don't have and some bronzes 
So this will help us with that as well. And none of these are protect. Oh shit, Manny Machado, let's fucking go. What a nice little pull there. That's gonna help with the with the Padres co uh, collection. So that's, I mean, I think that's the mo second most expensive card behind Kirby Yates. So I will gladly take that. And we still have two packs to play with. We get another goal, what the fuck, bro? We got Craig Kimbrell. That's another one that's gonna help us with that Cubs collection there. What, dude, the luck has been fire from these. Holy crap. Craig Kimbrell is going to be a nice add. I think I'm even going to be able to add him to our bullpen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, he'll fit in there. He'll fit in there. We'll figure that out later, though. And then we still have another show pack here. I, wouldn't that be nice if it was something fire? Another fucking gold. Holy shit, bro. I don't, what the? Okay, Marcus, Marcus Simeon. Okay. So we get Marcus Simeon to add to the team, and we get some Under Armour uh, glasses that go for over 3,000, so we will be selling those. But we add him, and that's, again, going to help us towards collections. I'm actually going to go ahead and try to sell these glasses now because we don't need them. We're not keeping them. Boom, boom, boom. That'll be a nice little 4K stubby bonus there. And that'll put us, if we sell that, over 40,000 stubs. And that's a solid number to have. Again, no money spent. We haven't flipped anything. I've not been flipping any cards yet. I've not even started. This is just all what the game has given me through me playing. I've really not made any completions towards the conquest map still, which a lot of you guys I think are already doing. You guys should be doing it at least. We're not entirely there yet. But and so with that, we have started to lock in some collections here. I could even add some of these cards to the bench if I really wanted to. I could add, I could add the Mark Trumbo or the Robinson Cano. I think what I will do is I will 100% add good old mark trumbo because i like this card in br i probably will like it as well as a pinch hitter there put him on the bench why not and then in pitching we've got roy oswalt now and we can also pull out one of our other starters i'm gonna pull out sunny gray for good old greg maddox here and that'll give us two diamond pitchers here to work with for us to start diving in two rank seasons as you can see we just sold those glasses there so that's pretty dope and we're gonna add craig kimball to the pin because why not now again with some of these golds you're pulling from packs you could 100 sell them you don't have to keep them i'm trying to get mickey mantle with no money spent so i'm kind of cool keeping some of these if i see the opportunity to sell i might but i'm kind of fine with where i'm at right now and so it's completely up to you but this is where we're at and now we're at level 65 we're getting incredibly close to level 80 to be able to take Corey kluber which is huge that would be a fantastic starter to add and we have something else we're going to do in the next video to lock in another starting pitcher that will add another diamond pitcher to our team so we're improving the team getting ready to jump into ranked seasons it's a good time if this series has helped you at all be sure to leave a thumbs up on it if you enjoy it leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you all in the next episode of No Money Spent. Let's go, baby.